I'm Michael Rubino, your host of Mold Talks. Today, I have a very special guest. Her name is Kimberly. Kimberly, do me a favor. Go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Yes, my name is Kimberly Rose. Um, I'm just here on this planet <laughs> trying to do the best I can. Now, I do. Uh, I've been a breathwork therapist for 15 years. And so, um, you know, through my journey of trying to figure out what's going on with myself and um, being on this breath work path and helping a lot of people, um, you know, I'm, I'm just here, I'm just showing people how to get some more oxygen into their body so they can help gently detox and. Yeah, and that's awesome. Them. Yeah. And breath work is so important, right? The detoxification, yes. stopping and breathing is very, very vital. And we yes. kind of take that for granted, don't we? Yeah. Um, what's interesting about this is obviously, you know, I'm an air quality expert and mold and bacteria are in people's homes, uh, probably a lot more than we'd like to admit. And so when you're doing breath work in a moldy environment, I would imagine that may not be uh, the detoxification you're looking for. Exactly. So um, right. and, and we're here to talk to about you today and, and what what your experience is with mold. So tell me, where, where did uh, where did it all start for you with regards to mold? Well, I didn't know this until years later, but I started getting sick. I moved. I was 19. I moved to Nashville, Tennessee. I lived in a very mildewy apartment downtown. Yeah. And I started getting migraines. Then I started getting sick. I was started. I was becoming bedridden. I didn't know this until years later, but I found breath work. And I noticed when I did these hour long guided breath work sessions, I felt better, more alive, happy. I started healing all these uh, symptoms in the body. And it wasn't until um, October, 2020, I got really sick. Um, I got a really bad migraine. And I just was like, man, you know, I have to keep the breath work going. It helps, but like, I want to, I, I got to figure this out. So, um, my sister, Casey, she ordered me a bioresonance scan. And so we cut a little bit of my hair. They did a mouth swab. We sent it into creating balanced health and it showed up. There was a lot of mold in my system. So with other, a handful of other things that could be creating this just really deep intense migraine. Um, and so that's kind of when I, that's kind of when everything changed for me was the fall of 2020. And so, um, my sister got me on to cell core and op opening up the lymphatic drainage. And she helped me get on these, on a mold binder. And then I started noting, I mean, everything just started feeling better. And there's mold in my mom and dad's house. I moved into a new place. There's mold all over that, but I was taking this stuff and it really helped me through. It's been helping me through the whole time. That's amazing. Yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm so glad to, to know that your sister kind of knew to, to get checked out and yes. that led you to finding these supplements that work well for you. And, yes. and obviously I'm the breath work is so vital and important you know, being, being in touch with your body, you know, mm -hmm. I think is, is vital. And, and, you know, for me, breath work helps me with that. Yeah. Um, I had, I had this amazing experience where I went to uh, a retreat with Deepak Chopra oh, and right. uh, some, some, some amazing people that he had, and we did a lot of breath work and meditating. And for me, that was kind of like my first experience with it. Mm -hmm. You know, I was always like taking time for granted, like time to sit and breathe. What do you mean? You know, time to sit and not think and just be still. What do you mean? <laughs> you know, and, and it was like, I had this amazing out of body experience uh, at that moment. And it was, it was really, it was really the first time that I realized like, you know, it's so important to just stop and listen to your body, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so appreciate all you do. Uh, you. you know, educating people on breath work is so vital. Um, so you said in 2020, you went through this, you found out the supplements, how long did it take you to start feeling better? Oh, within the first, I mean, um, so I did a parasite cleanse. I started feeling better and then yeah. I went on to phase one in cell core and pretty quickly, I mean, just, wow. I mean, right away, actually like within, I, I, I was really skeptical at first. 
and it was so, it was so costly. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. and I was so broke at the time. So I was like, Oh, okay. I'm going to give this five weeks. And so within three to four weeks, I saw all the subtle changes. Um, my pattern with sleeping at night. Um, I, I, I just feel like I've, for many years, I've just barely slept, but I've always been in a moldy house. So, um, and I grew pretty quickly. And so, um, something that happened was I did all, I did the whole protocol for cell core. I did nine months of gently detoxing and working with mold stuff, um, while still living in a moldy house. I'm like, I'm good. I'm healed. I'm good to go. And then I took a month and a half off of the mold binder and off of the, the lymphatic drainage supplements. And I was back down to zero. <laughs> I mean, just yeah. from not taking it because I do live in a moldy house. Yeah. And, um, I, I just thought, well, it's just mold. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Like this is all mental. I'm, I'm stronger. I've got the tools. I know how to get through this. It's mind over matter, whatever. But I did a month and a half of not taking that stuff. And I was like, why am I depressed again? I'm not sleeping at night again. Oh my God, there's no way. And as soon as I started taking, I, I ordered the phase one again. I started to, I felt it instantly. I took wow. my mold binder and I felt, you know, it just, I don't know if you're familiar with um, cell core. Yeah, but I'm familiar with some of their Dr. products. Dr. Jess talks about it a lot. Yeah. And um I felt better instantly and I got my I got my my aliveness back. And so I thought, damn, I guess mold really does screw with you that hardcore. I was I I I didn't so this whole time I was on cell core for from um I would say December 2020 until December 2021. I was on it the whole time. And that whole time I thrived in a moldy house. As soon yeah, as I, so, as so you didn't just I see it. Off. You didn't just see it once to notice that you've seen it twice. You've, you've been, you, you fixed it. You felt better. Yeah. You stopped I'm taking like, it yeah. and you're right. You about bounced right back into relapse. Within now, a month, within I was month. back to crazy. my symptoms. You know, and so let's talk about the problem here, right? Cause the problem is that you know, we have mold everywhere, essentially, like it, it's this big problem where it's in many of our houses, right? Remediation is costly. If you're renting, there's not many options other than obviously breaking your lease and leaving. Mm -hmm. You know, when I look at this and, you know, kind of ties into what we said earlier, like being healthy is expensive, right? You know, Very. I mean, and being unhealthy is actually so, so affordable. Mm -hmm. And the reason I say that is because a nicer place that's less likely to have mold is, is likely to cost more than a place that probably has mold, right? So when you're on a budget and your housing budget, you know, you really don't have a choice. It's hard to find a, a, an affordable place that's, that's clean, especially in today's environment. Yeah. And then supplements could be hundreds of dollars, right? Mm -hmm. And a freaking cheeseburger is a dollar, right? You know? <laughs> and so it's like, where, wh wh what are we doing? You know, what are we doing uh, to ourselves now? Of course, you know, there's, I mean, I always give these tips and tricks to kind of control your environment in a cost-effective way, such as, you know, we know that if, if you're in a moldy place, you know, how that mold transfers around the house is going to be through the dust. And, you know, obviously these particles aerosolize, they get in the HVAC, they start to recirculate. So keeping on top of cleaning, you know, it's a nuisance, of course. But that's a cheap option to stay healthier and not be impacted by these particles. Air purification systems, of course, there's a wide array of them, but it's a, yeah. a way you can plug and play and, and make sure that you're, you're purifying your air and, and getting better air quality. Um, it will be vital too. But man, it is, it is a difficult road out there and a lot, of, a lot needs to change. Yes. And if I didn't have my air purifier, I would be screwed. Because yeah. uh, a couple months ago, we had a, we had a storm, the power went out the the air doctor turned off i woke up nauseous the room was stuffy i'm like why do i feel so sick and then i looked over and my air purifier was not on if i and i got the cutest place on the river yeah and like i don't i don't want to leave but after being out of my house for a month i'm like i got to get out of that mold like i i realize how serious it is so i'm 
but that yeah, air you know, it's, huge. it's hard. It's hard to do, you know, it's hard to do what you want to do when you're living in a moldy environment. And obviously you have to look at the effect of like, when you have to take a supplement, you know what I mean? To survive, <laughs> like, you know, it's like, there's gotta be a better way. I know. Um, it's, it's- and it's hard. Look, like it's easy for me to sit here and tell you, you know, leave your place, find right. somewhere else. Right. Yeah. Like I, I, I myself am renting right now. It's like to find a place, you know, you have to like almost wait for someone to pass away. I mean, that's like how serious it, like you just know housing anywhere. Right. Um, and, and it's like the housing prices have gone up dr- drastically. So, uh-huh. you know, I feel your pain. It's, it's happening everywhere. I'm sure many people listening to this, you know, feel your pain. Um, and I, I know it's not going to be easy, but you know, it's important for your health and it's trying yeah. to get the cleanest environment you can this way. You can get off the supplements, which will probably f- provide some financial benefit there. That's the goal is yeah. to get off of those. And the goal is to, I'm going to buy a trailer so I can put it on some pro- a property, you know, yeah. and a newer yeah. trailer. So then hopefully there's no mold in that. Cause it's, it's a big deal. And I, and I'm on a breath workers budget. So I just live session to session, you know? I don't have, I like, I've prayed, like bring me so (laughs) core. And then I always am able to buy it every month, but you know, it's like, I'm just like anyone else, you know? So I'm I'm saving money just so I can get out of that place. And it's coming. It's definitely coming. It's coming. Well, I'm rooting for you, you know, and and I know that clean air is something that you're, it's on your radar. Yes. Um, So that that's important for so many people. They walk around not feeling well and have no idea. And they go doctor to doctor to doctor trying to figure it all out. Did, did you have a similar journey? Did you have to go out all these doctors to figure out what's going on with your migraines and some of the symptoms you were having? Well, I've been going to the ER for 16 years. I have, I have like those migraines that are almost like, um, they're very, they're like mini strokes. Wow. I mean, there's no, di- when you look up the symptoms from a mini stroke to a, a a complex migraine, the doctor said. <laughs> I've been going for 16 years to the ER. Like, this isn't just a migraine. What is this? And it it finally, I um I got sober in 2020. And then when I was ready to really detox and go there, then it came in, you know. Yeah. Um, but my sister that by a resonance scan. So I yeah, 16 years. But I, I had the breath work. I had breathing and I just lie down and breathed and it would release. So I had that and breathing's for free. So that's what I did yeah. to get through all those years. But I didn't know it was from mold and a couple other things going on with me. Yeah, that that is that is uh, you know, I mean, to go 16 years, you know, and and deal with that and have no idea and then figure it out and start taking supplements and bam, it's gone. I mean, you know, God, yeah, I, you have I'm known very, 16 years sooner, right? Like, I know I, it's, it's just so crazy. Um, but I'm, I'm really grateful that I, someone taught me how to do breath work because, you know, I, I know what it's like to spend thousands of dollars trying to figure it out what's going on. And then I know what it's like to have no money and all you have is the breath. <laughs> so. Yeah. Let's, can, can we dive into breath work a bit while, while you're here? I mean, we'd love to, yeah. we'd love to kind of dive into that. So how did, first off, how did you find breath work? Yeah. So I was, um, I was 22. I was living in Nashville, Tennessee and I was on Adderall and I was really depressed and I was drinking a lot and I had all these symptoms in the body. And I was just like, if you don't bring me a life coach, I'm out of here. I'm going to die. I just felt kind of, I didn't know that Adderall was making me have suicidal thoughts. Right. And it was making me really angry. And then the next day I met my breathwork coach Wow. and I just, I didn't do breathwork to become a breath worker. Uh, or a guide or a facilitator. I, I did it to just heal myself. I noticed the more breathing I did, like I did one session a week for nine months and my migraines went away and, and my body cleared up everything, any symptom, back pain, neck pain, it was gone. So I thought, wow, that's just from breathing. And then I, I kind of just got obsessed with it because I was really good at taking people through a session, like in school and all the trainings. And, um, but I, I got into it from that. I just, I, I was like at rock bottom. I was, I wanted to die because my symptoms were just totally taking over my life at 22. I'm like, I am too young to be feeling this way. And then, um, one breath work coach led me to another school, to another school, to another school. And then I, 
I, I just loved what it did for people. And I even just my first session, it's like, I saw my whole life and I was raised by nuns. So I saw all the shame and the fear and the guilt, and I could never be myself growing up. I could never shine and just be who I really was. I was always punished for it. And, and it cleared in that first session. And so, you know, so everyone's session's different, but, and I, when I was done with my first session, I threw my Adderall away. I'm like, I don't need this. And I just chucked it. I just threw it away. Um, my body was like, you don't need that. I'm like, just breathe. <laughs> so yeah, it's funny when you get in touch with yourself, you start to really understand yourself, right. And what yeah. you actually need. And, you know, I think it, human nature, I mean, I think we all have our vices, right. Um, when, Absolutely. when you start to really be in touch with your body, you start to see those vices subside. You know, I, yeah. I've, 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 I've dealt with, um, you know, alcohol addiction, uh, you know, as, as a, uh, early 20 year old, early something in the twenties, you know, 22, probably the same, um, you know, um, I've tried things like Adderall, um, you know, uh, marijuana, even cocaine before, you know, yeah. and, um, it's for me, when I realized later in life uh, is that, you know, I was struggling to fit in with people, you know? And I, I utilize these vices to make everything feel okay, you know, mm -hmm. and um, doing some of the breath work and, and uh, some of the um, meditating mm -hmm. where we went, we were in the mountains in um, Nevada mm -hmm. and we took these like ATVs up these mountains and then we took them back and on the, we did this exercise around the round table and someone shared a story, um, a very personal story. And for something like something happened it, it, you know, where, where, while I was meditating that I instantly remembered this like repressed memory that I had when I was a kid. And I tell you, I was bawling, crying the entire way down this mountain. Right. And, you know, it, it made me realize like, wow, um, there's so much stuff that I did in, in earlier in my life that I regret. And it was all because, you know, I essentially just was made fun of as a kid or was bullied as a kid. Um, and I always had this desire to kind of fit in. And, um, it's, it's interesting how that, how that really impacted my life, even for 20, 30 years. Um, and I, as I kind of saw that it's like, it's interesting. Like once you're aware of something, it kind of like melts away. Right. Yeah. So it just poof was gone. And, you know, and I, I just like, I mean, I was crying, like, sadness for myself, but also happiness for myself to like now be done with that. And, you know, like how many times that I limit myself because of the fear of that then, and it was so repressed. I didn't even remember yeah, that it happened. Exactly. Right. And so there, there's a lot of power in breath work and meditation, um, you know, and, and I know some, not everybody um, has done that yet. Um, and I think people should do more. Cause like you said, not only is it free, um, but it's, uh, it's very powerful and, yes. and it seems so sim simple, but it's very powerful. So yeah. what did, what did your, what did this life coach say to you that made you realize, like, I got to try this? Well, she said, um, well, I want you to fill out this form and then we're going to go over it and then we're going to breathe. I'm like, I already breathe. I don't need to breathe. And then she's like, we're going to go over your birth. And what happened at your birth? I'm like, I just need someone to vent to. So she said everything like wrong to me. I was so triggered and so in my stuff. She didn't say like, I was just like, I don't need to breathe. I just need a coach. Yeah. But when I got into her presence and she's so loving and so kind. And she told me for the first, like no one ever told me I was good. No one ever told me I was innocent or that I could heal myself. It, no one. I just was raised with all that suppression and Catholic shame and guilt. And, um, she just told me that I was enough and no one's ever said that. And then somehow she got me through the breathwork session. I fought it. I'm like, I don't need to breathe. And then once she got me in there, oh my God, then you just see everything yeah. that you need to see. So that's what it was. She just told me I was, I was good and I'm innocent and that I could heal. I, I had never yeah. had anyone tell me that before. You know, and it's, it's interesting, you know, I don't know if you had to pick one word that resonated with you um, in that experience, but, you know, for so many people that I talk to on a daily basis, you know, they, they, they're just constantly told that, you know, there's no hope essentially, mm -hmm. right. 
Yeah. Um, we don't know what's wrong with you. We can't figure it out. There's, you know, there's nothing I can do. Go see this person, go see that person, take these pills. Right. Um, and it's, it kind of leaves people feeling hopeless. Right. And right. Um, yeah, I, I hope that this brought you hope, um, that experience for you. I don't Absolutely. want to put words in your mouth, but, um, I, I, you know, sometimes people just need to be told that, you know, you are worth it. You are enough. You can Absolutely. get through this. And when you get through this, you'll realize it was all worth it, you know? And it's yeah. hard when you're going through the crap, you know, yeah. it's hard. Yeah. And that's why I think I love the breathe, the breath work so much because no matter you just come as you are and you just take it one breath at a time and you're just, you're getting so much oxygen in, you're breathing in life and your aliveness and you can feel every cell in your body. And then it's like, you know, I've had people come in suicidal, like they just slit their wrists the day before a breath work session and they come in, they want to die. And then after the session, they, you know, their whole life goes off and they they're living, they want to live it, it, it. When you get the oxygen in, it brings aliveness into your body and it does bring you hope because there's somewhere in the session um, that I take people through and I ask, I ask them questions so then they can hear what their body's trying to tell them. And that's where the magic happens. Cause then they're they're It's like them and their body and their body and their visions. And what, like you said, you flashed on when you were a little boy and that, yeah. that yeah. moment. So, um, there in the breathe with the breathing, you can start to feel the connection and your knowingness, and then all the answers start coming through, through your symptoms. Like maybe you have a slight pain in your belly and then I'll ask you a question to ask the pain. Yeah. And then, so it, 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 it brings everyone hope just a 60 minute session, everyone. Yeah. So that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. No, and, and, you know, I, I've never shared this publicly, but basically the repressed memory was suicidal thoughts and I was mm. five, you know? Oh, wow. um, and so to be so young, and then that was one of the reasons why I cried is because I'm sure there's other kids that go through similar stuff like that, you know, at five, oh, six yeah. years old, I've, I've seen horrible news stories out there, but to, you know, to, to, to want to end your life before it even really started, you know, like that, that to me hit home, you know, in a big way. And I, I had totally forgotten the entire thing, you know, like, um, so it was, it was, it was, you know, it was deep to connect with, of course. Um, I think it, it, it was very important for me to do that because I was able to finally let go, you know, first I had to remember and be aware of it and then let go. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, and it's, uh, yeah, it's still, it's still not an easy thing to talk to, especially publicly. Right. But yeah, you know, when I look at, when I look at all of this, you know, I was in an apartment in uh, Staten Island, New York at the time. Um, it was definitely a moldy place. Uh, it wasn't really kept up with well at all. Um, but it was, you know, my, my dad was, was starting his own business, getting things off the ground. It was, you know, what we could afford at the time. Um, and, and what I know now is obviously the impact on mental health that mold can have that bacteria and water damage buildings can have on people. And I don't know if that was true for you, but for so many, it really is. And, you know, when your mind is racing and you're thinking negative thoughts, I can imagine, right. That breath work can help with that, right. To just clear your mind and just yeah. focus on your body for a minute. Yeah. You know, I mean and even the place I live in, in Oregon, it's moldy. Um, and I do breath work in there, but, um, and it does help. It, it, it does help. But now that I've been away from it for a month, my, my mental focus and my, my depression's gone <laughs> just from being out of that damn house. It's so yeah. crazy. So now I, my, my goals are, you know, I know what to do now. I'm, I'm going to, I'm, my goal is by the, the, within the next few months, I will be out of that place. I don't care what, how to, how to do it. I'm going to do it. I'll, I'll find a way. Good. Um, no, I have faith in you. And I know, I know you, I know, you know, that it's going to be an important part yeah, of, you know, healing for you. I didn't is think it, it was, I didn't think it was that big a deal. I'm like, this is just mental. I'll, I'm strong. I can get through this, but yeah, it is a big deal. And you still are right. You've gotten <laughs> through it. But, yes. but imagine what it'll be like when you have additional resources and tools. So right. you're not in a moldy environment with the breath work. Look at how much better oh. things you're going to get, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, right now, you're, you've got your, your techniques to kind of get you through it. But let's mm -hmm. get you into the positive realm, right? Where yes. you're, you're off to the races. And 
you know, I, I think that would be a, a really good thing for you. And I think, you know, that cause you're, you're already, your wheels yeah, are already I'm, spinning. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what life brings in for my next place. I mean, I know I was in a toxic, toxic mental space. Even when I moved into that house, I was going through a lot, you know, so energy wise, just, okay, let's, let's upgrade this. <laughs> So. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's like in today's world, it's like, how do you not go through a lot if you're a human being, you know, oh, I mean, there's God, just so know. much doom, gloom and turmoil out there. And, you know, and, and we talked earlier about how, how difficult it is to be healthy in the first place. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, it's like, we don't have a really good setup as much as we, right. as much as we pretend we do, we really don't, you know, yeah, there's a lot to- that needs to change. Yeah. I like I'm here in Santa Barbara, California. It's so easy to be healthy here. Sorry. My dog's hacking. It's so easy to be here because everyone wants to be healthy right. and they're taking there's the gym and these workout classes and everyone's eating farmer's market food. And so I'm just alive here, you know? Yeah. It's so sorry. But I you should. have to have that accessibility. It's not everywhere. <laughs> right. right. It's not. And so, but I know what it's like to have absolutely nothing living in the middle of nowhere in a moldy house. Yeah. So yeah. you have to work a little bit harder at it. And I think that's why I, I put tons of free breath work out there on my Instagram, because I know what it's like to have to spend so much money on your health. And um, I want people to, you know, just at least start with the breath. So, you know, if that's all you, if that's all your, your listeners can do, you know, start with figuring out breath work. Yeah. Would you mind, would you mind sharing some tips, um, you know, with regards to, to how to get started in breath work? Um, you know, let's also talk about where people can find you if they want to, you know, if they want to start their journey with a, with a breath work coach. Yeah. Let's dive in. Okay. So, you know, I just, cause most people don't even know that they're not breathing. Right. And Cause we're all so stressed. So, um, you know, I, I just start with a simple reminder, just take a few deep breaths throughout the day, you know, just getting the body in that, that flow of just taking a few deep breaths. When you're angry, take a few deep breaths in when you're getting anxiety, whatever. Um, now for those but- who may not know, you know, the best way, and obviously I'm sure there's, there's many different ways to do it, but is it in through the nose, out through the mouth? Is that kind of the best way to get as much oxygen and, and expel it? Well, yeah, they have like, you know, I'm sure you've heard of James Nestor. He's, he's got a lot of research on nose breathing. And so um, I was trained to do breath work in and out through the mouth. And um, so when I'm in breath work sessions, I actually change it up a little bit. So we do okay. nose and mouth breathing, but you know, um, d- do it however you want to do it. Just, just to get the body used to taking deeper breaths for yourself to get through the moment. Awesome. But, um, I could teach you, would you like me to teach you like the breathing pattern? Yeah. Teach, teach me one thing. We'll teach okay. everybody, teach us all. Okay. So, um, you know, if you want, you can close your eyes and just take a few deep breaths in through your nose in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the nose. Softly exhale, letting it go. And we'll just keep that going, inhaling. Soft exhale. Inhale. Soft exhale. And see if you can breathe in a little bit more. Even if it's hard to, even if there's no room in the nose, or if you let's say you're doing this in and out through the mouth, just go for it anyway. Make make room. And as we do this, just notice your thoughts. Notice where you're going, and then take a big deep breath in. It's all about being really loving and kind with each breath that you breathe. And just know you're doing it great. You can't mess this up. We're inhaling and exhale. Breathe in, breathe out. 
And that's, that's a minute of breathing. Wow. <laughs> so, so, you know, I just, you don't want to push it or force it. I'm sure you're starting to feel I'm getting hot and sweaty just from that one minute of breathe, starting to open everything up, start getting lightheaded. And yeah. Good. I feel light airy. And you know, what's, what's interesting is while I was doing it, like, especially instantly, I just like closed my eyes and took my first deep breath. Like just come, I, I felt like I was just completely clear, you know, mm-hmm. crystal clear, no thoughts in my head was just there and, and just listening and paying attention to my body. It, it's, it's like I said, it's, it's a very powerful thing, you know? Yeah. Um, and uh, I know Deepak Chopra does all these case studies on how important breath work is and meditation and stuff like that. And, you know, we take it for granted. Like you said, we're so stressed out. We're always yeah. rushing on the go. Um, we're always worried, you know, about what's going yeah. on, especially when we're not feeling well. And so just to take a moment yeah. to yourself and just, you know, breathe. And especially yeah. if you, if you're listening to this and you're dealing with mold, and you're in a moldy environment, like just go outside and practice this for a second. You'll see what we mean, right. but it's, uh, it, it is powerful. So I appreciate you taking me through that and, uh, yeah. you know, hope, hope, hoping everybody else stops and rewinds and, and does it too with us. Yeah. Even, even just a few minutes a day. Now, now for me, I I'm flying back to Oregon soon. I have the fear of going back into that flat roofed tiny house on the river. <laughs> yeah, I can I, imagine. So, so I'm, I'm just finding my breath. It's going to be okay. I'm not going to be there that long. I know I have the tools. Like you said, I can go outside and breathe for three minutes while I'm walking or something. Yeah. Yeah. So well, you have the tools, you have the knowledge, you're aware, you know, what's going on. So now you just got to execute. Right. And, yeah. And you know, that's half the battle is knowing, you know, to execute. Right. And a lot of people are stuck in this mystery. Do I have mold? Do I not have mold? You know, yeah. Is my place healthy? You know, things like that. So it's nice to not be in that position. And I know like some people are scared of finding out, right. Because they start to think ahead of themselves about, you know, what am I going to do after that? But you know, the first step is just no right? Just, yeah, just get the data totally. you need to know that it is or isn't a problem. And then this way you can take action on that. Um, so where can people find you to work with you? Because uh, yeah. I think everybody listening should have, have, have a breath session, especially yeah. if you've never done it, get, get a good feeling. Um, so I'm getting, so you said it was something 60 minutes, you do an hour long session. Yeah. Good. Like, so um, starting out with the free sessions, try start free try try the free sessions they can go to breathe with kimberly rose on my youtube i've got like 10 free sessions on there full guided 60 minutes and then um because that's where all the benefits are your whole body will dump everything in 60 minutes it's nice to do five minutes but why not do the whole thing and then um and then you can also go to breathe with Kimberly Rose. That's my Instagram, my link in my bio. I, you can book a one-on-one with me or group sessions. Um, uh, I have the free sessions in my link in my bio as well. So everything's on my Instagram, breathe with Kimberly Rose. Awesome. Well, great way to do it. Start out for free. Check it out. Yeah. Uh, once you see the benefits, you know, you can, you can start to book sessions and, and really get into it. I know yeah. that I will, I will be trying your free sessions as well. Yes. Um, I, I'm and, doing a, I'm doing a session tomorrow night at 5 PM. Awesome. Um, I'll send you the link. You should hop on. It's send a 10 dollar once a yep. month. I do a $10 group session. It's Perfect. private. I don't need to see or hear you. I just gently guide you through the breathing. So I'll, I'll send you the link. And, and look, it's affordable. You can't beat 10 bucks, yeah. you know, in most places that's the price of a cup of coffee these days. Right. So, you know, I think that's really important. Um, you know, really appreciate what you're doing. I have one more question for you before we go. So now that you know, all, you know, especially dealing with mold yourself personally, um, you know, what, what advice can you give to someone else who's going through similar challenges that you went through and that are still going through? Yeah. Well, I meet people, people like if they come do private sessions with me, they have like PTS, PTSD over mold. Like it's, it's running. The fear is ramped up high and, um, don't give it that much power. There's, you're going to find a way through this. It's, it's part of your, your healing journey. And what if that mold leads you into something better? So it's just, it's there to, for healing everything. And, um, just, I, I try not, I try my best to not take it personal and not take like when I'm in the moldy environment and my thoughts start getting dark, I try, I just take, 
some deep breaths in and I try not to take it personally. Like I'm going to be out of this soon, you know? So I guess that could be, cause I, I really feel for people when they call me and they, ha- they're just, they, they, they operate off the fear of mold. Yeah. It's like, you've made it this far. You're going to be okay. Um, yeah. Turn yeah, that not- fear into empowerment, you know, now that right. you, you know, get, get the education and the knowledge that you need to make the right decisions. And then you don't need to be scared, you know? Absolutely. And, Cause and that fear, important. It, it, when we get in the fear and the panic of it, we stop breathing properly. And yep. then our connection and our intuition and our guidance gets kind of blocked. We start to build stress. We mess up yes. the whole endocrine system. So, yeah, yeah. Everything gets out of whack. So, and we don't, we want to be living in the flow in our flow. Yeah. And so that, I guess that would be my advice. I, I'm, I'm thriving in a moldy place. So, but I have to take all this stuff to live there. So, which yeah. I'm going to be out of there soon. I'll be posting. There you go. As soon You'll as be I get extra out. thriving pretty soon. So <laughs> yes. that's, that's great advice, Kimberly. Well, thank you so much for being on Mold Talks today, sharing you. your story. Um, we learned something really new and cool today. I even got to experience it firsthand, which is, which is fantastic. Looking forward to checking out some of your free sessions so I can get more acquainted with, with what you're doing and uh, hope to see you at one of these $10 sessions. We'd love, yes. we'd love to check them out. Thank you. And thank you for all that you do. You are, you're amazing. You're brilliant. Oh, well, thank you for that. I really appreciate that. Thank you for all you do too. And we'll thank talk you. soon. Okay. Thanks so much. All right. Bye.